Hello and welcome to program 35 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you are not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com, that's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com, and I will be happy to let you know when I create new programs or tutorials. So in this program, what I've done is created in, in, in fact two programs, one of which is a sending program and one of which is a receiving program. And what the sending program does is it draws some horizontal lines on a chart, initially spaced evenly, and you can determine how many lines you actually want to draw. And then if we move those lines on the sending chart, just by clicking them and then moving them, you'll see that the line also moves on the receiving chart and the value of that line is updated on the right as well. So I just grab another line here and move it up into the range where we can see the values. So the idea is that you could find for example some area where you may be found potential support or resistance on one chart and have those values reflected on another chart. So let's just have a look at the input. So if we click on the sending chart, which in this case is a 600 tick e-mini, and look at the inputs. And NumSR, this is the number of lines that are initially drawn by the program on the chart, which you can then move manually. I've got it set 10 in this case. The maximum we can have here is 20. The program allows you to have up to 10 different colors, which you can set as you can see here. If you have more than 10 lines, what the program will do will repeat those colors so that you'll see the same colors appearing again. And then finally, GDIC name. This is used in naming the global dictionary. So it's important that this number is, or rather this input is different for each pair of charts that you want to share information. What I've done is set it by default to get simple name plus vector. If you have a number of charts with the same symbol, then you would probably want to make sure that you've got different names there. So I'm just going to show you the colors repeating. If I change this to 20, we should see 20 lines appearing on the chart, as you can see there. And you'll notice that we start with two red, two yellow, two magenta, two cyan, two green. Then we go back to the red again because the colors are repeating. Now in terms of what sort of charts this can be applied to, it's really very, very flexible. So you'll see here on the right, I've got it applied to a Google Renko chart with a setting of 20 lines. And that data is being transferred to a five minute Google chart. And then on the left, I've got it applied to a mini DAO three line break chart. And that data is being uh, sent to a five minute mini DAO but you know it really doesn't have to be a five minute um, it's just uh, I happen to have done that we could change this to say send data from a three line break mini DAO to for example a 50 tick bar then you'll see the data being being reflected on the different chart so technically the program uses the new global dictionary that became available in TradeStation 9.0. I wrote this program in 9.0 incidentally. The program also uses vectors, an event handler and the timer. It uses the timer as part of the logic to determine when or if the lines have moved on the sending chart. And uh, if that does occur then the receiving chart is notified using the event handler and the line is moved on the receiving chart. Anyway, I hope you might find this program or these programs useful. If you do decide to download them, you will get the sending program, sending indicator, the receiving indicator. I'm also going to include this workspace just to get you started. And I'm also going to record a short video just to give you some tips on using the program.